I was listening to this podcast and this woman was talking about how children, they don't look at their parents and see what's wrong with them. And instead, when their parents are fighting all the time in the house, it's just there's this polarities between the mother and the father. Children will tend to internalize it because children, they just unconditionally love their parents. And I would take that a step further because there's something more to do with that. I think the reason children in general internalize it and think that there's something wrong with them instead of saying that my mother is distant or my father is dysfunctional or there's drugs or there's they're not coherent or there's violence or there's this or that it's when you have two parents that are constantly fighting and tearing each other apart a child doesn't see the difference between a mother and a father and themselves when they're looking at their mother and they're looking at their father it's almost Yes, the first love of a child, especially little girls, is their dad. And for a little boy, by the time he's five, he falls in love with his mother. But those are the dualities and the polarities of male and female, which is themselves. It's the first projection out into the world of how they view themselves out in the world. And it's where they gain the knowledge or the only perception within their environment of what love is and what self-love is. And so children internalize what's going on with their parents and whether or not they're attacking each other or hurting each other because if my mother is a piece of shit and my father's a piece of shit, what does that make me? Because I am a product of the two and that union that they formed in order to create me. That's what I am. And so children internalize it and think there's something wrong with themselves and it must be my fault. And I think that comes from a place of they're looking at their parents and it's the first time they're looking at their own reflection in the outside world of where it is that they came from. And so, yes, it is very, very important the way that parents talk about each other and the way that parents interact with each other, whether your parents are still married or whether you're separated and divorced, your children are still internalizing that because they cannot control their environment and they're taking in information of what the outside world is like and what to expect. And so I think it's a step further than them just blaming themselves for their parents not getting along. It really truly is a rejection of self because it is their first time looking out into the world and they fall in love with their parents as the first time you fall in love with who you truly are and where you came from. And when that gets torn apart and not by your own choosing or your own demise, your only natural assumption is it's something that you did.